Hey everybody, welcome to another amazing After Effects CS6 video tutorial. This is Buddy Blackford on the New Boston. And today we're going to go over compositions, how to make a composition, and talk a little bit about composition, composition settings. So it's going to be awesome. We have to, when you start out learning a program, you have to learn like the basics and sometimes they're not all that awesome but to really use a program you don't want to start in the middle and then you don't know how to figure out how to do the uh, basic things um, I mean I'm learning saying this from experience I started out trying to make awesome things at first realized I didn't really know how to use the program and couldn't really follow what was going on so it's great to start out and learn from the beginning not just jump jump in you wouldn't want to jump into a video game in the middle of the video game so and it's just an example no no more lecture whatever so we'll start off by um, I'll show you how to create a new composition the uh, go up here to composition and a composition is basically like a big group that's gonna contain your footage, your layers, and everything you are able to uh, apply effects to compositions you, and you can uh, apply effects to the composition uh, elements like the layers and the solids and stuff like that. So you can go to composition, new composition, the hotkey is control N and this uh, will pop up. You have the basic tab here and then you have the advanced tab. I almost never use the advanced tab I actually haven't ever used it so um, but we'll cover that the advanced tab at another point in time in case you ever need to um, right now most of the time everybody is gonna want you to use uh, either this HDTV preset or another HDV HDV TV uh, uh, like a 720p but I always stick with HDTV 1080 because you can always uh, cut the resolution in half to get 720p. Um, you, anytime you try to up the resolution, it's going to look blurry and crappy. So anytime you start out at the top, you can always cut down and it'll still look fine. Trying to go up is bad. There's also a couple um, resolutions or presets that are getting a little bit outdated. Um, the NTSC which um, is about 480 and that's that's basically like your old tube TVs used to have NTSC or maybe your local uh, news channel where like the the video quality on it isn't that good that's probably NTSC it's not HD there's also um, actually the NTSC is used in the Americas mostly and uh, I think like Brazil doesn't use it maybe they're changing into it I don't know I don't live in Brazil but I do have a friend that lives in Brazil and he's pretty good at what he does um, NTSC stands for National Television System Committee just a fun fact you'll never no one will ever ask you that and you don't even really need to know it it's just something to throw out there um, PAL is what they used to use in um, mainly like Europe and Asia and Africa it's a uh, 560i and it's, that's basically fading out also so basically I would stick with HDTV maybe later on you if you ever work at like a film studio where like say you're gonna work on like Avengers or something like that Avengers 2 um, they might be in it might be in 2k um, like I said they they actually like to shoot their video in high resolution because they can always downgrade it later so preset 1080 29.97 actually we'll, we'll go with 24 because most uh, HDTV is 24 now and uh, that always seems to work that's also less frames that you need to work with so stick with HDTV 1080 24 for now keep this at square pixels it uh, gives you the 16.9 aspect ratio which is what you always really want and anytime you need don't want to use a preset you can also manual manually type in these so someone has a wacky uh, like 985 or something like that if someone has like a wacky custom uh, 
maybe you need to make like a banner on the side of a website and it's got different dimensions on it a different resolution you can add in your own custom but there is a web banner but I mean they're not always going to be the same so let's go back to this preset um, here's where the frame rate you you want to keep frame rates either at 24 or 29.97 in the US uh, full resolution that's that's what you want to start out with if you half it it's just gonna bring it in half or whatever you don't really don't want to do that um, I always start with about 30 seconds you can always change this later but just to have something on your table that's not like way too much if you put in like 30 minutes your timeline is gonna be really huge and you're gonna have to go through everything and zoom in and everything like that so I just keep it small unless I like know what, what's going on I always like to keep the background color black but I mean you can do whatever feels better on your eyes so you always want to name it so I'll name this one New Boston Rules maybe I should spell it right and that creates your this is your comp it's kinda like your canvas you can Let's drag this into our comps folder. We'll open it up just so we can look. Um, say you created uh, your composition and you did something wrong. You didn't. You put in the wrong name. Well, you can change the name on there. If you put in the wrong resolution, you can go to composition, composition settings, and you can fix it. So that's easy enough. Okay, and let's uh, throw something on there got this image again you can just take it and drag it over and it puts it within the composition so I mean you would want something to fill the background so we'll just throw something in there as a background because when you render this out it's just gonna be all black just throw this in there for now put this uh, picture on top in the layers and you can see that the composition holds these uh, different effects so let's throw an effect in there We'll throw a blur. It's the easiest one to throw in there. Where's the uh, fast blur? We'll put on Bucky here. Move this back to where it's supposed to be. And let's blur him. Yep. This is just messing around. So use this uh, panel on the top, or this slider on the top here. You can get back to your project panel. So there's that. I'm going to take the blur off because it's annoying me. So we'll go back to the effect. But I just wanted to show you how you get to put uh, effects on uh, things within a composition. You can also uh, bring up the composition itself um, and put uh, different uh, effects on that if you throw the composition within another composition. So that stuff will become more clear once we do more projects just keep that in the back of your mind um, another way to make a composition and this is my favorite way um, if I know that I'm gonna be working on video footage I'll have the video already made from the camera and you can take it and uh, bring it in over top on this uh, button right here down here and it will create your composition with the same aspect ratio and same resolution that you have on the video so this is a video I made uh, a while ago and uh, basically uh, just something we made for the company I used to work for and uh, that those are the two ways you can make your composition in the next tutorial we'll be talking a little bit more about the, the composition panel and what these buttons down here mean and anything else that I can think of. All right, well, thanks for watching this one. Have a good one.